twofer? No, we close out the year with three for a week. Try the Republican powerhouse politician in Texas, who was also a federal judge and who was also accused in a civil suit of sexual assaults on a child, as well as a series of not entirely secret affairs with young men, all back when he was just a Southern Baptist youth pastor. That civil suit settled this week. The size of the payout not disclosed. Then there was the small town Missouri mayor and fire chief and emergency services coordinator who was charged with molesting two of his adopted daughters. But what may be the worst of our three furs is the three-month sentence a Vermont judge gave a man who lived with the mother of a 17-year-old girl. The judge, after hearing that the 40-year-old man had engaged with inappropriate sexual conduct with that girl over a five-year period, said in open court that the abuser, and I quote, loved her in his crazy way. Close quote. Three-month sentence. And yes, the judge later apologized for the comment, but he's still a judge. Oh, and the holidays, of course, made for less court action, but in week 45 of Who's Making News for Sex Crimes with Children as Victims, we still added 143 names to the database, bringing the year-end total, remember we started in mid-February, that year-end total is 5,958 cases. 59 politicians, more than one a week. And of those 59, 76% of them Republicans. None of them drag queens, not one. Four of them transgender people. Not quite seven one hundredths of 1%. Big thank yous to all of you who've sent in cases. Reminder, we are United States only. We don't include stings or materials only cases. And that's why we didn't include the megachurch pastors in Tennessee or Canada or the non-binary 27-year-old in Indiana. And we also didn't include, but should mention this case, the Republican congressional candidate in Texas who won a $2.1 million defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife. She had accused him of molesting their children. The court found that was not true. Her appeal was denied. By the way, he was never part of our database. If you want to check the data, see what's up in your state, you can download it, sort the spreadsheet any way you'd like. It's all available at whoismakingnews.com, and we'll see you next year.